Richard Blanco, one today. One sun rose on us today, kindled over our shores, peeking over the Smokies, greeting the faces of the Great Lakes, spreading a simple truth across the Great Plains, then charging across the Rockies. One light, waking up rooftops, under each one a story, told by our silent gestures moving behind windows. My face, your face, millions of faces in morning mirrors, each one yawning to life, crescendoing into our day. Pencil yellow school buses, the rhythm of traffic lights, fruit stands, apples, limes, and oranges arrayed like rainbows, begging our praise. Silver trucks, heavy with oil or paper, bricks or milk, teeming over highways alongside us, on our way to clean tables, read ledgers, or save lives. To teach geometry or bring up groceries as my mother did for 20 years so that I could write this poem. All of us as vital as the one light we move through. The same light on blackboards with lessons for the day, equations to solve, history to question, or atoms imagined. The I have a dream will keep dreaming or the impossible vocabulary of sorrow that won't explain the empty desks of 20 children marked absent today and forever. Many prayers, but one light, breathing color into stained glass windows, life into the faces of bronze statues, warmth under the steps of our museums and park benches as mothers watch children slide into the day. One ground, our ground, rooting us to every stalk of corn, every head of wheat sown by sweat and hands, hands gleaning coal or planting windmills in deserts and hilltops that keep us warm, hands digging trenches, rooting pipes and cables, hands as worn as my father's cutting sugar cane so that my brother and I could have books and shoes. The dust of farms and deserts, cities and plains mingled by one wind, or breath, breathe. Hear it through the day's gorgeous din of honking cabs, buses launching down avenues, the symphony of footsteps, guitars, and screeching subways, the unexpected songbird on your clothesline. Hear squeaky playground swings, trains whistling or whispers across cafe tables. Hear the doors we open for each other all day, saying hello, shalom, bonjourno, howdy, namaste, or buenos dias, in the language my mother taught me in every language spoken into one wind, carrying our lives, without prejudice, as these words break from my lips. One sky, since the Appalachians and Sierras claim their majesty, and the Mississippi and Colorado worked their way to the sea, thank the work of our hands weaving steel into bridges, finishing one more report for the boss on time, stitching another wound or uniform, the first brush stroke on a portrait, or the last floor on the Freedom Tower, jutting into a sky that yields to our resilience. One sky, toward which we sometimes lift our eyes, tired from work, some days giving thanks for a love that loves you back, sometimes praising a mother who knew how to give, or forgiving a father who couldn't give what you wanted. We head home through the gloss of rain, or weight of snow, or the plum blush of dusk, but always home, always under one sky, our sky, and always one moon, like a silent drum, tapping on every rooftop, and every window, or if one country, all of us, facing the stars, hope, a new constellation, waiting for us to map it, waiting for us to name it together. I picked this poem for the theme, Unity Among Diversity, and I really like that Richard Blanco uses one as a motive throughout the entire poem to show how one single diverse individual has a huge impact on the world, as well as the unity that he shows in the fact that we all wake up under one sun, and we go through our daily lives, and then we come home and we go to bed under one moon, and we, we all contribute to this future, the constellation that we are mapping out together. He also repeats words such as face, my face, your face, showing us as individuals and how we all make up the face of the earth. And, and I think that's how I personally connect to it, is the fact that I feel there is a pressure on the world to be different and independent, yet we are all still human. And I think Blanco does a wonderful job at just humanizing everyone in their routines. He pulls together various different people from ethnicities and socioeconomic classes to create a feeling that our daily routines are just as human as the person that lives next to us. And I think that appeals to all of us because we as individuals create the future. We as people, single people, create a family of the world and we create the future. And, and I think it's humbling to know that the mother who spent 20 years bagging groceries so that she could send her, to co her son to college, or the father who cut sugar cane so that he could give his son shoes and books were vital pieces to the puzzle that is the world. Um, and I like the fact that I am a puzzle piece to that. I want to be a physical therapist and that I am going to be a puzzle piece to the world by helping others and making them feel better and healing them. And, and I want to be supportive of that. And, and I think that Blanco does a wonderful job of pulling together 
the fact that we are all very important in what is the future of this world.